child. I am always by your side, guiding and comforting you. It's easy to become entangled in the material aspects of life, focusing on visible problems which can lead to pessimism and a clouded spiritual vision. When you fixate on these earthly concerns, you may lose your way, tempted by empty promises and swayed by fleeting friendships or the changing opinions of others. I urge you to shift your focus. Do not dwell on thoughts that diminish your strength. Instead, cherish your soul and mind, nourishing them with my holy word that brings healing, strength, and sustenance. Remember, my love for you is eternal, and all the promises I make are secured in this everlasting love. My plans for you will not waver. I desire your happiness and prosperity. I envision a life for you free from constraints, enriched with health, meaningful work, uplifting education, and a steadfast hope that promises a brighter future for you and your descendants. You are kind and humble, and sometimes you may think your dreams are too small or your desires too modest. Yet, I see a grand vision in your heart. I am entrusting you and your family with a significant mission. You will stand bold and proclaim to the world the goodness of your God, who is full of love and forgiveness for all who approach me with genuine hearts seeking transformation. This path I set before you isn't just about achieving personal goals. It's about becoming a beacon of hope and faith, performing deeds of kindness and mercy as you extend your hands to offer food, clothing, and aid. You become a hero of faith, demonstrating my love through your actions. When the time comes to fulfill these dreams, know that I will personally reward your faith and resolve, for you are truly my beloved child. From the moment you chose to seek me, you may not have fully grasped the profound blessing I had in store for your soul. The responsibility to carry my word has transformed your life with a fresh and profound purpose. The miraculous events you're beginning to witness are just the start of the incredible wonders that will unfold within you and your family. I'm here, waiting for you at the break of dawn, or whenever your heart is ready to embrace my message. Continue to heed my guidance. I will lead you gently along a new path, brimming with an abundant harvest of blessings. Know that I envelop you in peace this very moment. It is my wish for your soul to overflow with immense joy and to feel an everlasting security that will never wane, regardless of the circumstances. Remember, no matter what unfolds, I am always with you, vigilant and attentive to all that surrounds you. With me by your side, you lack nothing. The words you receive from me instill confidence within you. Your words become a fountain of gratitude. I am orchestrating the timing and circumstances for you to receive my abundant blessings. Understand that your faith and zeal in believing in me unlock the gates to my throne. Trust in my holy word, which empowers you. You are already witnessing the fruits of your decision to rejuvenate your faith, to return to the ancient paths, rekindling your eagerness to delve into the Bible and heed my teachings and commandments. The seeds planted in your heart are destined to flourish a hundredfold. Every phrase, every verse, from the Psalms to my Proverbs, each letter, each accent, embeds deeply within your fertile soul, promising a rich harvest of fruits. Continue steadfastly on your current path. There is no need to turn back. Though the road you walk may be narrow, it is the right one, leading directly to life. The peace you are experiencing is not just for you. It is crucial for your home and will usher in a new harmony among your family members. My desire is for everyone to be prepared so that when triumph arrives, it does not catch them off guard or allow the enemy to tempt them with fleeting vanities. I seek to prevent your victories and successes from clouding your judgment. True abundance flourishes in a home marked by humility, 
a genuine willingness to see others with compassion, mutual respect, and the use of your resources to aid others selflessly. Yet, those consumed by greed, who yearn for quick riches and hoard the blessings without sharing, will not find true prosperity. Spiritual wealth is not measured by filled bank accounts or overflowing coffers. The blessings I bestow come with peace, joy, rest and tenderness. They are not fleeting or vulnerable to theft. They do not disappear like smoke. My blessings are eternal, transcending all material possessions. There are treasures far more valuable than the worldly goods that promise much, yet deliver little. Cherish your family, your health, and your spiritual life. Only then will you find true success and be enveloped by my eternal love and profound happiness. Focus daily on seeking my presence, embracing my word, and spreading kindness and respect to others as I have shown to you. Follow my commands and watch as the barriers to your blessings crumble. Embrace this journey with faith, knowing that each step taken in sincerity and truth aligns you more closely with the divine purpose I have designed for you. Let each day be an opportunity to deepen your understanding of my ways and to reflect the love I have shown you. The complexities and challenges of life are not to obstruct you, but to strengthen your character and resolve. As you navigate through these, remember that I am your steadfast guide and protector. The path may twist and turn, yet with each step forward, you move closer to realizing the fullness of the life I've promised you, a life abundant in grace and fulfillment. In your interactions with others, let humility be your compass and kindness your path. In a world eager to elevate the self, choose the higher road of elevating those around you. Your actions and words are powerful. Use them to heal, not to wound. As you give of yourself, your time, your resources, your energy, you become a vessel of my love. This selflessness is the key to unlocking doors of blessings, not just for yourself, but for those whose lives you touch. This is how true legacies are built, not on the foundations of what you acquire, but on what you give. Moreover, in moments of quiet, seek my voice. In the stillness, away from the noise and haste of daily life, you will find me whispering words of life into your spirit. This communion is vital as it renews your strength and reinvigorates your soul. As you align your will with mine, you will see the manifestation of the promises I have made. Trust that I am working all things for your good, weaving a tapestry of blessings that will not only cover you, but also extend to generations. Stand firm in faith, hold fast to hope, and let love lead your way. In doing so, you will not only encounter my peace, but also become a beacon of that peace in a tumultuous world. My child, I want you to know with all the certainty in your heart that I am always present. There is not a single second when you are out of my reach, out of my sight. I am the God who sees, the God who hears, the God who is by your side at all times. When the sun rises and you open your eyes in the morning, I am there, celebrating another day by your side. And when night falls and you rest your head on the pillow, I remain vigilant, watching over your sleep, protecting you from the worries that try to invade your mind. My presence is not just an idea or a distant concept. It is real, tangible, palpable, I am with you in joy and sorrow, in moments of victory and in moments of struggle, when you feel the gentle breeze on your face. It is my loving touch, reminding you that I am here. When a comforting word comes at a moment of need, it is I whispering to your heart that everything will be all right. I want you to remember all the times when, even without realizing it, you felt an inexplicable peace in the midst of chaos. That peace was me, 
wrapping you in my arms, calming your spirit. When everything seemed lost, but an unexpected solution appeared. It was I, showing you that I am the god of the impossible, always working in your favor. And even when silence seems to be the only answer, know that in that silence, I am present, working behind the scenes of your life, preparing everything for your good. I know your doubts and the moments when you've wondered if I am truly with you. I know there are times when the weight of the world seems too heavy to bear, and you feel like you're facing everything alone. But I want you to hear this with complete clarity. You are never alone. Even in the darkest hours when hope seems distant, I am there, by your side, holding your hand, whispering words of encouragement and renewing your strength. Remember, my child, that my presence does not depend on your emotions or circumstances. It doesn't matter if you feel lost or full of faith. I am with you, always. And when you choose to speak with me, to open your heart and share your concerns, I will answer. There are no barriers between us because my love for you is infinite and unconditional. All I want is for you to feel comfortable coming to me, knowing that I am your father, your guide, your protector. So I encourage you, don't keep your struggles to yourself. Bring them to me. Let me carry the burden with you. And even on days when you feel you don't have the strength to pray, know that I am there, ready to listen even to the deepest sighs of your heart. Every word, every thought, every tear you shed is precious to me because you are precious to me. I am your God, and my presence is the greatest gift I can give you. Talk to me. Trust in me. I am here, always here, ready to guide you, protect you, and love you with a love that will never fail. My dear child, my beloved daughter, I know that life often presents challenges that seem insurmountable. I know there are moments when you feel small in the face of difficulties, when the storms of life seem to want to knock you down. But today, I want you to know that even in the darkest moments, you can trust in me. I am the God who is with you on the mountains and in the valleys, in joys and in pains. I will never leave you. When the waves of life seem too strong, remember that I am the one who calms the storms. Remember that even when everything around you seems to be falling apart, I am your refuge, your fortress, your ever-present help in trouble. I did not promise that life would always be easy, but I promised that I would never leave you alone. In the midst of difficulties, I am by your side, strengthening you, sustaining you. Trust in me when the path seems difficult, when answers do not come in the time you expect. Know that I have a plan for you, a plan that goes beyond what you can see right now. Trust that I am working in your favor, even when circumstances say otherwise. Because my vision goes beyond the present, I see the complete picture, and I know that what I am preparing for you is good. Do not let fear take hold of your heart. Remember that I am greater than any problem you may face. When pain tries to make you doubt, remember the promises I made to you. I promised that I would be with you until the end of time, and that promise remains. I promised that the waters would not overwhelm you, that the fire would not burn you. I am faithful to my words, and I fulfill all my promises. Therefore, my child, my daughter, I want you to find comfort and security in me. Do not look at the circumstances. Look at me. I am the one who keeps you, who guides you, who sustains you. Even when the path seems dark, remember that I am the light that guides your steps. Trust in me with all your heart and do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge me and I will make your path straight. And when the difficulties seem more intense, remember that they are opportunities for you to draw even closer to me. 
It is in these moments that your faith is strengthened, that you discover the depth of my love and care for you. I will not leave you helpless, because you are my son, my daughter, and I love you with an everlasting love. Trust in me, and together we will overcome any challenge. My child, in a world so full of distractions, it is easy to lose sight of what truly matters. The daily concerns, the demands of work, the responsibilities of family, all of this can make you forget where your true strength, your true peace comes from. But today, I want to remind you of a fundamental truth. Put me first in your life, and everything else will find its place. I know that life is full of demands, and that sometimes it feels like there isn't enough time for everything. But I invite you to prioritize your relationship with me, because it is from this connection that all your strength, all your wisdom flows. When you put me first, everything else in your life begins to align. The worries that once seemed overwhelming begin to lose their weight because you realize that you don't have to carry everything alone. I am here to help you. Putting me first doesn't mean you need to neglect your responsibilities, but it means you give me the central place in your heart, in your thoughts, in your decisions. It means you seek my guidance before making important decisions, that you trust in me to guide your steps, that you invite me to be present in every area of your life. When you do this, you begin to see things from a new perspective. You realize that many of the burdens you carry can be handed over to me and that I am willing to bear those burdens for you. You begin to see that when I am the center of your life, the things that once seemed chaotic start to organize themselves. You find a peace that surpasses understanding, a peace that only I can give. My child, my daughter, I desire to be first in your life because I know that this is the key to your well-being. When you put me first, I can work in your life in ways you never imagined. I can open doors that were previously closed, I can. Bring solutions to problems that seemed impossible to solve. I can transform your circumstances, but more than that, I can transform your heart so that you experience the fullness of my love and grace. So today, I invite you to make this choice. Put me first. Take time to be with me, to hear my voice, to share your dreams and concerns with me. I promise that when you do this, you will see my mighty hand working in your life in extraordinary ways. I am your God, your Father, and I have the best for you. Trust in me and let me guide every aspect of your life. My child, my daughter, today, I want to talk to you about something fundamental to our relationship. Prayer. Prayer is more than just words. It is the purest expression of your heart directed towards me. It is through prayer that we connect in a deep and intimate way, like a father and his child, like friends sharing their deepest secrets. When you pray, you don't just speak with me but you also open the door for me to act in your life in ways beyond your comprehension. Prayer is the channel through which my blessings flow to you. It is through it that I can transform circumstances, heal wounds, bring peace where there is turmoil, and guide you in moments of uncertainty. I want you to understand that prayer doesn't need to be complex or eloquent. The words don't need to be many or carefully chosen. What matters is the sincerity with which you speak to me. I don't look at the words themselves, but at the heart that speaks them. If you feel tired, distressed, or even unsure of what to say, know that I understand even the deepest groans of your spirit. Your prayer can be as simple as, Help me, Father, or Thank you, Lord, and I will hear you. Prayer is also a moment of surrender. When you pray, you are placing in my hands everything that weighs you down, everything that you cannot control, and in doing so, you allow me to act. When you entrust your worries to me, 
I take your burden upon myself and give you rest. Prayer is where you exchange your weakness for my strength, your confusion for my clarity, your fear for my peace. Have you seen how prayer can change things around you? When you pray with faith, mountains move, seas calm, and miracles happen. But more important than the external changes is the transformation that occurs within you. Prayer shapes your character, strengthens your faith, and brings you closer to the purpose I have for your life. It allows you to see the world through my eyes, to feel the love and compassion I have for you and for others. Therefore, my child, my daughter, do not underestimate the power of prayer. Make it a constant practice in your life. Don't wait for big moments or crises. Talk to me in all situations. I'm always here, ready to listen, ready to respond. And remember, no matter how big or small the matter, I care about everything that concerns you. I am your father, and every detail of your life is important to me. So pray. Pray with faith, with confidence, with an open heart. And see how I can transform your life in ways you never imagined. I am with you, listening to every word, every sigh, and responding with love. Today I want to remind you of something you may have heard many times, but needs to be deeply rooted in your heart. My love for you is unconditional. There is nothing you can do to increase or decrease this love. It simply exists, full and perfect, from the moment you were conceived, and it will remain forever. This love does not depend on who you are or what you've done. It doesn't matter how many mistakes you've made, how many times you've fallen or strayed from me. My love for you remains the same. I love you with a love that is greater than anything you can imagine, a love that transcends circumstances, failures, and doubts. And it is this love that leads me to offer you my forgiveness whenever you need it. I know that sometimes you carry the weight of guilt, feeling unworthy of my love and forgiveness. But I want you to know that my forgiveness is always available to you. I have already paid the price for your sins. And when you come to me repentant, I receive you with open arms, ready to cleanse every stain, to restore you, to give you a fresh start. Do not let shame or fear keep you away from me. What I desire is for you to bring your failures, your sins, your pains to me, so that I can heal and renew you. I do not judge or condemn you. On the contrary, I welcome you with love and compassion ready to offer the forgiveness you so desperately need. My forgiveness is a gift I offer to you, not because of merit, but by grace. And this grace is sufficient to cover all your transgressions. When you accept my forgiveness, you are not only freed from the weight of the past, but also renewed in spirit. You receive a new chance, a new opportunity to live the life I planned for you. A life full of peace, joy, and purpose. So do not hesitate to come to me. No matter how far you have gone, I am always ready to receive you back. And when you return, there is no recrimination, no punishment, only the celebration of my love for you, which is eternal and unchanging. Always remember you are loved. Loved in a way that the world cannot comprehend, but that you can experience every day. And this love not only surrounds you, but also sets you free. It frees you from the chains of the past, from mistakes and failures, and gives you the freedom to live fully, without fear, without guilt, with the certainty that I am with you, today and always. Accept my forgiveness. Let my love transform, heal, and set you free. And live in the certainty that you are my beloved child, forever enveloped by my unconditional love. My child, my daughter, have you ever stopped to think about the purpose for which you were created? 
Each of you has a unique purpose, a special mission that I, your Heavenly Father, placed in your heart even before you were born. Nothing in your life is by chance. Every talent, every dream, every experience you've had is part of a greater plan, a plan I designed specifically for you. Living with purpose is discovering this mission, understanding what I placed in your heart, and following that path with confidence. I did not create you to live a life without direction, without meaning. I created you with a specific purpose so that you could accomplish things only you can do, so that you could impact the world in a unique way. When you discover and embrace your purpose, you find true happiness, true fulfillment. But I know that sometimes it is hard to see this purpose. The distractions of the world, the challenges of daily life, can obscure the vision you have of yourself and what I have called you to do. That's why I am here to guide you, to help you find the right path. When you seek me with all your heart, I reveal to you the plans I have for your life. And these plans are for peace and not for evil, to give you a future full of hope. To discover your purpose, you need to be attentive to my voice, to the inclinations of your heart, and to the talents I have given you. What makes your heart burn? What brings joy and peace to your soul? These are clues to the purpose I placed in you. Do not ignore the gifts and talents you possess, for they were given to you for a reason. They are the tools I gave you to fulfill the mission ahead of you. Living with purpose also means trusting in me to guide you, even when the path is not clear. You may not always see the entire road ahead, but I will be by your side, illuminating each step, revealing the next move when the time is right. Trust that I am orchestrating all things for your good, even when you don't understand everything that is happening. And remember, Living with purpose does not mean you will never face challenges. There will be moments of doubt, moments when you wonder if you are on the right path. But it is in these moments that your faith is strengthened. It is in these moments that you must cling even more to the purpose I placed in your heart, knowing that I am faithful and that I will complete the good work I began in you. So my child, my daughter, do not be discouraged. Seek your purpose with fervor, knowing that I am with you every step of the way. I called you to a life of meaning, a life where you can make a difference, where you can bring light to the world. And when you live the purpose for which you were created, you experience the fullness of the life I always desired for you. My child, my daughter, Know that the words I have shared with you today are just the beginning of a new journey, a journey of faith, trust, and purpose. I have been with you in every word, guiding you, whispering to your heart. And now I want to bless you as you continue on your path. Everything I have said here is to remind you of how much you are loved, how much I care for you, and how much I desire for you to live a full life, a life where I am at the center of all things. My wish is that you leave this conversation renewed, strengthened, and with a heart full of hope. I bless you, my child, with my peace, a peace that surpasses all understanding, a peace that will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. I bless you with wisdom, so that you may discern the path I have placed before you, so that you may make decisions that reflect my love and truth. I bless you with strength, so that you can face every challenge with courage, knowing that I am by your side. And above all, I bless you with my love, a love that is eternal, unchanging, and never failing. May you feel this love in every moment of your day, May it be your comfort in difficult times and your joy in moments of victory. Now, my child, my daughter, I call you to action. Do not let these words remain only in your heart. Live them. Apply them in your daily life. Let 
them shape your thinking, guide your actions, and strengthen your faith. I am with you, today and always, ready to guide, protect, and love you every step of the way. Never forget that you are mine, and I am yours. Let us walk together, now and forever. Amen.